Hello, my name is M.K. Davis. Um, there was an interview that was done not too many years ago uh, with uh, Bob Gamlin, uh, Roger Patterson's partner there, uh, when he went to Bluff Creek to get his film. And, uh, of course, uh, uh, Bob had quite a bit to say. He was asked, you know, pointedly about the camera and the, his use of the camera, what his role was in taking the film. And I found it very interesting what his response was. Uh, and I kind of put it right here, uh, you know, kind of uh, let the film roll as he talks. And, uh, and, and my point is, or the question I have about this is, you know, Roger Patterson in this little film clip, this is a film clip that is attached to the creature, the, the, the section with the creature is just prior to it, and it's like stock footage of them just wandering the creek and looking around and stuff. And it shows Roger Patterson riding on his horse, and Bob Gimlin is uh, talking about his role in using the camera, which he pointedly denies using the camera. And that brings about... You know, the question is, who is filming Roger? Because Roger's on the horse, and somebody's filming him. And that's what I was talking about in previous videos that I posted here on YouTube, is that uh, there are a lot of inconsistencies. And, you know, uh, under scrutiny, the story just breaks down uh, over and over again, point after point. You know, and, and uh, uh, as long as detractors can come in the back door and attack the, the 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 story and destroy the film by attacking the story this film will never be of any value uh you know it's it's got to reach the point where you say i accept the film the film is of a genuine sasquatch but the story i do not accept because it does not match what you see on the film. Here's an example. Let's take a look. Did, who, who made the decision, Bob, who was going to be the cameraman that day? Did uh, Roger always have the camera, or is that... Well, know. yes, there was, there was not a decision at all, because I didn't have anything to do with cameras. Uh, basically, I was the horse person there, you right. know, on the, uh, Roger Ad, who was riding his horse. But, you know, I was just there to, to help Roger whatever uh, whatever needed to be done. And my my uh, point was, or the reason that I was down there is Roger asked me to take him down there. And I had the equipment to take him down there with the truck and and and. and you know, the means to get him down there. And so Roger had uh, the camera with him all the time. I, I never carried the camera ever because I don't even, I don't even take pictures to this day with a camera. So, and I know very little bit about cameras. Uh, so consequently, Roger had had this camera, I assume, uh, quite a while before he went down there. Did, um, hmm. You know, you might have noticed the interviewer at the last there. He was a little perplexed by uh, Bob Gimlin's statement. He said, hmm. Uh, and, you know, uh, since then, uh, the, the interview has been pulled out of the archives. At least when I looked last, uh, it was unavailable. But uh, too late. I already copied. So I, I hope people understand that, you know, it's not picking on any one particular individual. It's just that this film is important and it's more important than this person and it's more important than me it's more important than any one person uh, uh it's, it's the nature of the film and what's on it and 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 you have to realize that if you don't strip the story away from the film the the, the story is like poison and, and it's it's it it, it people's gonna spit the whole thing out and reject it all and certainly don't want that to happen it's too important a film remember uh, Bob Gimlin says in his own words he did not handle that camera who took the film of Roger I thank you for your time